we have to <coughs> we have to derive a relation between the potential electric potential and electric current George Simon Ohm, a German physicist, has studied a lot with the electrochemical cell developed by Alexandro de Volta, and he has come up with a nice conclusion that. when all the physical factors remain constant physical factors in the sense the pressure and temperature remain constant then the current i passing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across the two ends of the conductor this statement is called ohm's law so here v is directly proportional to i which implies v is equal to some constant into current this constant of proportionality is known as resistance resistance is represented by a sim symbol r and it is measured in ohms this is the symbol for ohm si unit of resistance is ohm which is nothing but volt per ampere now if you want to write the dimensional formula for resistance volt that is nothing but work done per unit charge and this is current that is ampere so here this is ml2 t minus 2 q we have studied that i is equal to q by t therefore q is equal to i t therefore ampere times time 
so now this is going to be ml2 t minus 3 a minus 2 resistance is simply a number resistance is represented by this electrical symbol now what is this resistance what is the physical significance of resistance or why resistance is occurred resistance is nothing but an obstruction causing the flow of electrons this is because the random collisions between atoms and electrons and collision between ions and electrons this resistance depends on many factors now let's talk about the application of resistance resistance can be used to control the current it is a controlling device suppose if you want to get lesser current you have to increase the resistance if you want to get more current you have to decrease the resistance so resistance can control the flow of current so in this we talked about the ohms law which is stating a relationship between v and i the electric potential and electric current after studying lot with the electrochemical cell ohm has come to a conclusion that v is directly proportional to i this is the mathematical e statement of ohm's law now this is to be converted into equation then we have to have one constant of proportionality and that's nothing but resistance and we talked about resistance and its uses and how resistance is caused so in this activity we have taken one battery eliminator to note down the current 1 milliampere and two connecting wires and we have given a gap here in this gap now we are going to connect two different kinds of bulbs and one specific resistance wire so now we will see what are the corresponding readings that are obtained in the milli ammeter so now first let us connect this bulb you can see the bulb glows with very low intensity and here the milli ammeter is showing around 90 milli amperes let us fill this gap with this bulb Now you can see the bulb is glowing and the reading that is obtained in milliampere is around 210. Now let us fill this gap by a wire. Now we see that 
the reading in the milliampere is around 250 milliamperes so what actually we wanted to show from this activity the same is the potential difference it is always connected at 2 volts only rest of the things are same only we are filling this gap with two different bulbs and a separate wire now for each component we are getting different readings so why actually we are getting that different readings it is just because of the resistance offered by the three components in the case of this wire the milliameter is showing 250 milliamperes and when compared to the two other bulbs it is more therefore we can conclude that this is allowing more current through it.